All right, folks, later in the day, Tuesday after Labor Day, Juan has finished all three rake walls. They're all done. That wood in between that goes from left to right all the way, that is to help keep the walls, the forms, straight when the concrete gets poured. Instead of, if we don't put that wood there to support it, the top of the forms will open up like that. That's just for sloppy workmanship. We don't want that, so Juan puts those there. Rest of the uh, North Florida walls, guys, you see we're up quite a bit. I'd say, I don't know, 50 feet up here in the scissor lift. Um, but those are the small rake walls in the front. And they're just working on a couple spots in the garage. And they'll be done today. So we'll be able to wrap up uh, today and pour this tomorrow. Over on Building 12, uh, Punch Out continues. We are almost finished with the list that the customer care managers made up. I had to send out a bunch of emails for some stuff that was missing. Uh, building 13, hard to see behind the small magnolia or the uh, second tree from uh, the right, but still waiting for FPL to put the electric meters in. I think it's today's a little too early to uh, guess for that. Um, and then maybe we're going to start, we're taking a look at the idea for this building here with the trusses over there. So once we pour Wednesday, the, the lintel, second floor lintel, which is what we're staring at, uh, Thursday, rip all the forms off, then maybe Thursday we can prep the trusses and fly them Saturday. It'd be nice to, if it's able to get the crane on Saturday so we don't jam up all the, uh, because when we get, whenever we have cranes, we jam up parking pretty bad. And uh, building 16 continues, uh, first floor block. And uh, since we're into September, I am waiting word from my boss on when we're going to start building 18. And that's about where the trusses are. That'll be the last slab to pour. But that means there's still a whole lot of work to do. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoy the bird's eye view.